And for this week, we're going to be praying for things closer to home, literally closer to your home. See, I'm asking you to pray this week for your neighbors and also for the people in your general sphere of influence. For the past few years, the Pastors Alliance, a group of pastors representing the African-American community in town, has been trying to get a meaningful audience with the Tippecanoe School Corporation to address some pretty serious incidents of racist bullying and other expressions of racism in the schools. Sadly, racism is an active presence in our local schools, and therefore it's a specific cause for prayer. Hey, today I'm coming to you from the Foxfire apartment complex. You know, one of the interesting things about apartment complexes in general is that people tend to only view them as like the place where you live before you live in the place where you want to live. We shouldn't think of apartments as second-class dwellings and single-family homes as first-class dwellings. We should think of people as people. This is literally in downtown Lafayette. Don't believe me? Turn around. This part of Lafayette has been one of my favorite roads for quite some time because it's just so tranquil and serene. And the contrast is what I find to be really fascinating. Because going that way just a little bit, you end up downtown. Going here, you find yourself in this secluded, foresty kind of area. But if we head up the hill, you find yourself up here. And I think 614 back here is the smallest house in all of Lafayette. But there's more. <laughs> because if you just go a couple blocks to the west, you end up here. This is just off of 9th Street in an area called Highland Park. And so I, I wonder, what's it like to live on the border? What's it like to live on the edge? What must it be like to be say, in the richest house on the block, right next to the poorest house on the block. All this earthly stuff, it's temporary. And so if you're living in one of the poor houses right next door to a rich house, you might look at the rich people and feel a certain way towards them. And you might feel a certain way about yourself. God wants us to change our perspective. He doesn't want us to measure ourselves based on our wealth or our possessions or even the address on your house. He wants us to measure ourselves in relationship to Him. So I'm asking you to pray with me today, particularly for the elementary schools in the area. So the Lafayette School Corporation has already decided they are going to mandate masks for all of their buildings and all of their buses. The thing that is biggest on my heart for us to be praying about today is the stress that all the teachers and the administrative staff have to face with regard to all of this. In particular, would you join me in praying that the Christians connected to these schools would be sources of salt and light to the people in the schools. All of our schools are populated by kids who grow up in homes around here. Now, I know that sounds like an obvious statement, but it's true, and it matters. The schools represent the attitudes of the neighborhoods. We need to pray that inside the schools, students would find a place of refuge, a place of safety, a place where they can learn and grow and become everything that God wanted them to be. And we need to pray that they take that home. So today for our final day of prayer, I'm asking you to pray for our church. We've lost a lot of people. We are in many ways back where we started. Uh, 14 years ago, we had a core group of about 12 people. Today, we've got many more than that. We've got at least twice as many who are really committed. Back then, they were all baby Christians. Today, we've got a strong group of people who have a good relationship with God and an eagerness to serve other people. The very first month, that we launched in 2007 when we launched our first public worship gatherings. In those first four weeks, a family came to our church and on their first Sunday with us, they wrote us a check for $4,000. Listen, I don't know what kind of miracles God is gonna do in our midst this time. 
I don't know how many people he's going to bring through our doors in surprising fashion. I don't know how many times someone is going to give us a miraculous gift of money at just the right time for just the right amount. I don't know how many more miracles God is going to do. But what I do know is that he's still in that business. He's still in the business of seeing people's lives changed. He's still in the business of having his message get proclaimed. Pray for our church. Pray that God would do miracles in our context again. Pray that people would come to this place and they would discover Jesus. Pray that people would be inspired to give towards this ministry. Pray that the message of Jesus gets proclaimed as far and as wide as we can. And pray that through Lafayette Community Church, the city of Lafayette, the city of West Lafayette, the region of Tippecanoe County, can have an expression of faith unlike any of the others.